Around 400 families are facing difficulties in accessing water as the Indipiti Aveva in Hingurak Godapulunarwa has completely dried up. News First correspondent said the water sources in the area have also dried up as a result. Therefore, the people are facing difficulties in finding drinking water. It hasn't rained in around 8 to 10 months. We don't have water to bathe or drink. We are severely affected. Since the weather has dried up, we have to go around 1 km to cut these weeds. There are about 5 dairy heifers. Do something to give these animals some water. People of Mahakumbu Kadavala, Karungalu Chole, Mahasembukuli, Paranam Kattu, and Karwalapetta in Putlam have been suffering without drinking water as the Karungadi Chole Vava has dried up. It is very difficult to find drinking water. The water left in tube wells is unsuitable for consumption. We are barely surviving. Wells in the village have dried up. One can of water costs 100 rupees. How can we afford it? News First correspondent said the people are unable to provide food and water to the cattle in the area as well. The people of Karaveti Jaffna are also suffering due to the arid weather conditions. News First correspondent said almost all water sources in the area have dried up. As a result, it has become difficult for local residents to find drinking water. There is no water in the well since three days ago and no water in the tube wells because there is no rain. News First correspondent said the grasslands on which cattle graze on have withered away. The grass has dried up because of the drought. There is no food for the cattle. News First correspondent said a group of people have used sandbags to divert the water flowing from the Kalini River in Manampitiya for the people suffering due to the drinking water crisis in Pudon Narua. The purpose is to supply water to the main water pumping station near the Mahavali River. Water in the water tank that supplies drinking water to the people of Poland Narwa has dried up. The people working on both sides came to help pile these sandbags. News First correspondent said this will help provide a continuous supply of drinking water to 25,000 families as well as the Poland Narwa General Hospital and employees of many state institutions. <laughs>